Hey, what's going on guys? It's going to be a quick tour of my game room setup. I spent about five weeks renovating this thing. And uh, some of you guys have probably already seen uh, the way it used to be. Pretty much everything on this wall was over here and scattered about. And then the uh, wall adjacent to the doorway here, you know, had some shelves. And that's where all my Atari and Sega stuff was. But uh, there was, wasn't any walking space, so I kind of had to figure something out. So this is probably the best setup I've ever had. Um, I got this click clack. It's a couch that kind of folds into a bed. If you pull the top back, it clicks, and it would, like, you know, fold down. Kind of like a lawn chair, but um, yeah, it's pretty sweet, nice and comfortable to sit on. And um, as you can see, I got these lights set up. That's actually a new addition I just finished today, and it's got this remote control. Uh, you can just change it to, you know, whatever color you want. So uh, you can set it on auto where it kind of fades in and out. Let me show you that real quick. But uh, it'll fade through uh, every color. Yeah, see as it fades. But um, you can set it on flash like I just had it. Uh, you can do manual where you just, you know, flip through the things. Uh, you can also have. Say we got it on any color you want, you can tone down the brightness, so, you know, whatever you prefer, um, I, fucker, I like red, so, I think it looks nice with the red light, but also, uh, at the top, I got this white LED that shines on this, it, I wish it was a little more, I don't know, uh, I wish it was brighter so it would expand all the way across here and stuff too. But uh, as you see on this shelf here, um, I installed, I don't know how many that is, probably about 10, 20 shelves. Yeah, probably about 20 shelves. And they all have these tracks, as you can see. So they're adjustable, so if I have to rearrange things, I can just adjust it as I need it. Um, starting at the top, we got Atari, uh, a little bit of ColecoVision as well. Uh, so we got all the old stuff up top, and then it goes down to Sega Genesis, uh, loose carts, box games. This right here, I got this from YouTube Asaurus. It's a boxed, sealed, actually. Uh, Judge Dredd. I don't know what the fuck that timer is, anyway. Uh, it's all my loose NES carts. I don't really have too many boxed ones. There's a couple right there. Uh, just some figurines to even out the empty space here. And as well as, got some DVDs up there. I got my PS2, Xbox, Super Nintendo, uh, my Wii. GameCube, N64, stuff like that. And over here we have my Game Boy stuff. Uh, it's Game Boy Pockets, Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Advance SP, just some random stuff sitting there. It looks kind of nice. I like it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, it. I got a lot more floor room now, so I can walk around. There's my... Hey, Roxy, Roxy, get the kitty. <laughs> all right, all right, you're good. Uh, over here we got some random wires I need to get sorted out, controllers, uh, stuff like that. Some uh, GTA stuff, Miami Vice, um, and here is a lot of my action figures that I collect. Um, I have a really big Darth Maul collection. I, maybe it's not big to you guys, but shit costs money. Uh, then I have my uh, Star Wars collection. These right here are the 3D glasses that you get from the uh, Force Awakens uh, premiere. And I went ahead and got all four of them. So down here I got some vintage Star Wars stuff. Uh, yeah, this is all my Kylo Ren shit, by the way. Like everything in here is Kylo Ren. Uh, spent a lot of money on that. There's a few more posters on the side of the door. And then uh, up here's the uh, Atari 2600 case and uh, some night vision goggles from uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I keep my um, video game boxes down there. And I don't think I showed you this, but I got two Atari 2600 sitting right there. There's a uh, plug-and-play as well. And you guys, you know, you see the consoles. I got, you know, NES, Super NES, N64, GameCube, Wii. I uh, got two. Actually, down here, that's my uh, high-definition Sega Genesis. And it has a uh, region switch on it, which I installed myself. It plays Japanese and North American games. Uh, AV modded. Jenny 2 did that myself. Uh, that's just painted red and black. Nothing fancy about that. You get the uh, PS1, PS2, uh, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn. There's another Jenny 2 in the back there. Actually, this Sega Saturn I modded that shit too. It's got a region switch as well. 
the original Xbox. Um, you yeah, know, nothing too fancy. Uh, just stuff that I've collected over the years. Two NES advantages. And I have everything, not everything's hooked up, just the stuff that I use the most. Uh, hooked up to the splitter box, so if I need to switch it, you know, I'll just, you know, hit that button there. But that's pretty much it for this game room. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to leave some comments, let me know. Um, I think it's pretty dope. Say hi to Roxy there. But yeah, uh, I gotta go. Peace.